I'm back. I'm back because I could have sworn my appointment was today, but apparently it's tomorrow. So, I'll try again. Another day. Um, but I came back because I am in the mood to answer some questions. And this is a rare mood for me. But I'm feeling great today. If you in Atlanta, you need to go get in your car and roll your windows down. <laughs> Skincare routine. Um, I had to admit that I was lacking, slacking on my skincare routine over the past few weeks. Um, just doing a little too much, going out, getting turned up, coming home. This is what um, something that when I get really lazy, I do, which I don't recommend. You come home from going out and you have makeup on and you take your makeup off with a uh, makeup wipe and then don't proceed to wash your face like it's like you take the makeup wipe i mean you use the makeup wipe then you get a little too lazy and go to sleep no don't do that i also want to say that the makeup wipes i used to use i no longer use because i found um these honey pot wipes i don't know if they're like supposed to be used for your face i think it says face on the box but i used it on my face one day um and it made a significant difference. But besides that, like, should I wash my face with? I just wash my face with Cetaphil. Um, they have a, they have um exfoliating one, and they have like the regular one that doesn't set up. I mix the exfoliating one that does set up with the one that, um, doesn't like. I don't, you know, like doesn't. You know the one I'm talking about. I mix those two, and it makes my skin really smooth. And um. When I'm like breaking out and shit, if you need to see a dermatologist or whatever for this, because it is prescription a prescription. When I'm like really breaking out, um, and it's like I can't get it controlled with Cetaphil, because Cetaphil is like a really neutral um face wash and moisturizer. Like it doesn't really have shit in it, you know, not like any active ingredients. Um, there's something called Retin A, but it is dermatologist uh prescribed. It's a pres prescription. But they have like other non-prescription retinol, so you can also like use that. I'm sure it might have a similar effect, but um, don't pull up on the side of me you fucking up my vibe. What all that? Anyways, let's see another question. Um, no, I don't have Latino skin. I have um black skin. I'm black. I'm black. <laughs> I'm black. So. It is what it is. <laughs> okay, it's, it's not. It's not no. It's not Latin. Um, workout routine. I also have been slacking on the workout shit lately. However, I have a lot of stuff coming up, so I decided I'm gonna put myself into this boot camp. We gonna document it, which should be hilarious. Um, me and I mean, me and Diamond decided we would document it, so that should be like some quality content for y'all. Um. I mean, because I know it's going to be quality content for me. <laughs> and I cannot wait. Actually, like, I'm excited to get back in shape. I haven't been in shape the way I want to be since probably, like, college. So, and that was a long time ago. But if you want to know what my workout routine in college was like when my body was perfect, um, I ran two miles a day on the treadmill. <clears throat> um, I probably did, like, an hour not an hour like that's crazy but like i probably did like 30 minutes of a high intensity ab workout which probably explains why moving into my middle late mid mid 20s my stomach is still pretty flat which i'm definitely grateful for um could also be genetics so shout out to my parents <laughs> um let's see what else here you want to ask me hold on now it's getting kind of when the windows ain't rolled down, it gets a little warm in here. Let's just turn that down. All right. Um, <clears throat> there are no features on the EP. Not this time. Maybe on the album, though. Would I ever perform at Rolling Loud? I have performed at Rolling Loud before, actually. Uh, Rolling Loud, Miami... Last year was the first time, I mean, was my second time ever performing in front of a live crowd. And I felt like, I mean, the energy was good, but I was, like, really nervous. 
Um, a lot of these performances I have been really nervous for, like last year, but I'm in a whole new zone this year. I feel great about it. I feel optimistic. I feel like it might have been like a psychological thing, psyching myself out. It's a lot of people, you know. I know Coachella's coming up. I'm excited, <clears throat> but I'm not nervous. So, don't worry. I will not fail y'all this year or any of that kind of stuff. Or fail myself, rather. You know what I mean? Heaven is a place on earth. It's not on the EP. I'm so sorry. Maybe it will be on the project later in the year. But, see, the thing about that song and a couple of them other songs that y'all be asking me about, like, As If and, like, uh, 40 Days and 40 Nights that I did get a feature on, actually. Those songs are like, they're not really like fully structured songs. Like they don't have a verse, a hook, a verse, a hook. It's like a run on sentence. And um, I don't um, I don't know how to feel about that. Like sometimes I just have like these really open-ended songs that don't have, like they just get to the point, but it's not like a song. It's not like something catchy. Like it's not like a you know, a hook. It's not like spread thin. Spread thin has verse hook, verse hook, you know. I'm 24 years old, which means that this year I turned 25. Quarter ticket. Quarter of a century. I'm getting old as hell. I'm still young and hot, though. Always gonna be young and hot. Don't ever forget it. I invented young and hot. Um, yes, you can expect to see me live. Sativa or Indica? And y'all know I love to smoke. But I decided for Lent. I'm just getting back on, like, I'm just getting back in my shit. Like, for Lent, I'm giving up smoking weed. I'm giving up smoking weed. I'm trying to, like, give up dairy, too, which is, like, a really hard thing for me. Because if it's one thing I love to eat is a good Alfredo. I love mozzarella sticks. Mozzarella sticks is probably like my favorite food on planet Earth. And if I could eat that all day long, constantly, and not ever have any sinus issues or not gain any weight, I would literally eat that all day. Or like pizza. I used to eat pizza a lot too. But I'm giving it up. I'm giving it all up. Sacrifices, y'all. Sacrifices. I already gave y'all the track list. Church, only human. Spread them, boys don't cry. <clears throat> My hand tattoos say, the world is yours. Maybe one, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Um... Yes. Oops. Let's see here. What else do you have to say? Yeah, all those open, uh, open-ended. I think that the reason it seems like I'm not answering the questions right is because it's I, I'm out of order here. Let me scroll down. My favorite strain. I don't really have a favorite strain of weed, but for the last week, the past couple days me well before me and diamond decided to stop smoking weed we were smoking biscotti um uh, and some other shit that uh kush factory in california gave us called guava something like that it was cool though <clears throat> it was cool but smoked it all we decided to smoke it all before it was time to give it up so wouldn't go to waste um, where am I going home? Let's see here. Yeah, take that dairy out. Do I write better sober? Um, <clears throat> I, it's very rare that I go to the studio and don't smoke weed. But, and I most definitely prefer to smoke and, and write, stuff like that, but I'm not smoking anymore. It's not like I have never written a song sober. I have plenty of times. <clears throat> Probably like the majority. Well, I don't, maybe not. Maybe not the majority. But, um, yeah, definitely not the majority. 
but I mean, I'm gonna try it. <clears throat> and if not, I mean, it's not like I probably won't ever smoke weed again and this and that. It's just like for the month of March, like we just got so much stuff coming up. I just want to be like really locked in. I don't want it to be like any reason that there's any distraction at all. I don't want to like smoke and get sidetracked and fall asleep. I don't want to smoke and get sidetracked and I want to be turned up. I don't want to do that right now. Like that's not my vibe right now. Um, so maybe I'll come back to it, but just at this current time, that's not my vibe. You know, when you think you see somebody in traffic, you gotta. <laughs> don't play too much. That's why, if you don't have your windows tinted, please get your windows tinted. So you can't. Never mind. Anyways. <clears throat> Flats or drums? I don't eat chicken anymore, so I can't help you make that decision. I stopped eating chicken like two years ago. Probably like three years ago now. So I'm just strictly a seafood eater and every now and again I eat some steak too. Makeup routine. I want to do a video on that because it's like different. I have different like um, I do makeup differently for different things and stuff. <clears throat> but I, I really don't I don't re really be using a, a makeup artist. So I think I might start back doing it now though because we it's like we don't we don't have the time to do that. <clears throat> like makeup, I don't think people realize how long it takes you to do your makeup. And it's like if you're doing your own makeup and somebody else is like trying to do your hair, or like some other shit is going on, it's hard to be trying to like do your makeup and that. It's like really impractical. Uh, <clears throat> let's see here. I have given you a date, the 11th. It's nine days away. I do want to do a vinyl, not for the EP though, like maybe for um, the project later this year. But I think another thing about that vinyl stuff is it literally takes so long to make. I never knew that about vinyls until I started making music. And then you realize that a vinyl takes like multiple, it takes like three or four months to get made. And I don't know if that's like a COVID thing. <clears throat> but like when I had first sold those vinyls, remember, and then they canceled those orders, it was because of, I guess that was because of COVID, like, I guess their, um, uh, factory couldn't, uh, manufacture them, and then it was, like, really hard to try to find another manufacturer, and then everything was, like, delayed, it was, like, taking, like, three or four months, that was ridiculous. Um. Let's see here. I'm like way, way far up. Sorry. <clears throat> this is going to sound fucked up. I actually shot. There are music videos that I have shot for some of your favorite songs. And then I wound up not liking the music videos. And they went to waste, kind of. I'm hoping that there's like some parts of that stuff that we can like use and stuff. Because, you know, mu the, the music videos, that shit is not cheap. And it's just like, I hate the idea of wasting um, those resources, but I'm also like a huge stickler on the creative process. So it's like, if something comes back and it's like not what I had in mind and it's like not what I was envisioning, like I take that shit to heart. It's honestly really hurtful. And um, I would not be releasing no half ass shit, <laughs> you know? So, yes, I write all of my own music. All of it. All of it. And um, lately I have been thinking maybe I should write for some other people and stuff because <clears throat> um, I like go to the, you know, like go record some stuff. And a lot of times there's like a lot of songs that will never see the light of day on my, my behalf because I either feel like the theme is repetitive, like I'm talking about some of the same shit or like um, maybe I just didn't like the way it sounded. <clears throat> and I don't like, I don't want, for it, want it to go to waste. So maybe I'll just give those uh, to some other people. I do style myself, but I think late, like lately I've been thinking also, and I don't know if it's because I've been like expanding my team and stuff, and it's like we don't really have time for anything anymore, which makes me really it makes me really sad because I think when we were less busy, it allowed us to be way more hands on in every single detail. But it's like now it's so much stuff to do and so much stuff going on that we have no choice but to like spread out the responsibility. And although I have styled myself. 
basically for eternity i feel like it would be way easier if somebody was going and doing all that shopping and pulling all that stuff and then maybe i pick from that you know but as far as like somebody like waking up picking my outfit out and putting it on me like i don't think i would ever do that you know but you can like pull up with the shit from a store like that'd be the hassle shopping like is the the i literally hate shopping you know and i had an ex tell me one time <clears throat> I had an ex tell me once I, these, ooh we. sometimes I wish y'all was my friends in real life so I could just tell y'all stuff, but this one nigga that was dating told me, I thought you would shop way more, I thought you would be like way more into clothes and way more this and that, and it's like, this clothes and shit is cool, but like, in like real life, I really don't care for shopping and like material shit, practically means nothing to me. <clears throat> keep scrolling here god damn i keep seeing this so let me just go ahead and get it out here i do not have beef with anybody i don't know what the hell y'all think is going on which is almost why it be making me feel like i shouldn't get on twitter and say shit or like can't tweet because it's like every single time i say something even if i make a generic statement it's like somebody always tries to attach it to some shit like i don't have beef with anybody like i'm not into that kind of stuff I don't get down like that. Um, so like all of that little uh, assumption and like trying to throw me in that little shit, that don't, that's none of that internet shit got nothing to do with me. Like I'm a real life kind of girl, you know? So all that like trying to like instigate shit on the internet and whatnot, like anybody who y'all think I could possibly have a problem with, no life and there's no problems on my end okay does that solve it hope so i'm problematic queen that's me <laughs> anything else let's see keep going do i have a favorite uh workout routine i just love doing anything that has anything to do with my abs and this flat ass stomach that i plan to keep forever All is Jaded, that's not the name of the song. That The name of that song is called No More Entertainers, and I don't think I'll ever put it out. That's like one of them songs that I don't really like like the way it sounded. The content was cool, but maybe I'll give it up to somebody else. It's a couple songs like that. Oh, when all is jaded, that satisfies me. Really good song, though. What else y'all got? For me y'all just y'all just <laughs> it's really like a toss-up getting on here because y'all will try to trick somebody with one of these questions and I think um something about me that my friends always tell me about myself <clears throat> is I'm too um like i am like relatively reserved when it comes to like public shit but if you know me in real life or like once anybody once i have a conversation with somebody even if i don't know you like that well if it's like a stranger and it's like a good vibe i like am a little too open like too honest and stuff i get to saying all kind of shit vori yeah me and vori i fuck with vori me and vori got some shit going on um music wise you know what i mean he's fired love his music like Vori this is how I feel about Vori music Vori will send me a song like he sent me this one song one time <clears throat> and it was like it was so spot on to like some shit I was feeling it was like verbatim what I would be feeling it's like I wish I wrote it myself like that nigga is fine he almost is like we're like very similar you know how, like I said, I be having a lot of those open-ended um, songs that are like, just like a, it's like a long run-on sentence, but you really getting your shit off, like you getting your point off, but it's not, it's not like a commercial-ass hit that has a hook and this and that, like Vori is like that too, and I really fuck with that about him, you know, because his music is like abstract, um, and it just still sounds so amazing, <clears throat> you know what I mean? Oh, he's in here. Why y'all didn't tell me that? I didn't see that. What's up? 
Corey. If he if he's still in here. A couple of my friends in here. What's up, y'all? <clears throat> what will I eat today? Who knows? I should do a song with Lotto. Y'all need to tell Lotto, let's do a song. <clears throat> what kind of cat do I have? I used to have a Bengal cat. <clears throat> Thanks. Thank you. Um, also, another thing I want to say is, real quick, for all of my friends that are in here and know me in real life, even if you're not in the city of Atlanta, next um, Friday, I'm going to have a party. I'm having a party on the day I put that EP out. So just hit me. And we are going to turn up. I know I said I stopped smoking weed. How am I going to have a party and not smoke? Fuck. I don't know. Of course I would do a song with uh, Nicki Minaj. What question is that? Let's see here. Oh, uh, I'm a Scorpio. Mm -hmm. I'm a Scorpio. And I'm a Cancer rising, apparently, whatever that means. I don't really know much about the Cancer um, sign, like the sign Cancer and shit. And I don't even know what that means, that I come across as a Cancer. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. And I have Virgo Moon. That is what the streets is calling my big three. So, whatever that is. Does that answer like a lot of questions for you today? Have I been um, talkative and open for you? Oh, there's more questions in a whole box. There's a box. Oh, and you can like the questions. This is crazy. I've never seen this feature on Instagram. The question that has the most likes. When is the tour coming? The next question <laughs> are you gonna drop an album soon later in the year <clears throat> wow this is like way more easy than looking at it the other way because it's like going in the other order it's not moving and anything will you drop ecstasy or heaven is a place on earth anytime sooner probably not i don't even know what ecstasy is y'all keep on saying a song named ecstasy what the fuck is ecstasy what song is that did y'all have named ecstasy <clears throat> When can we expect new music? Are y'all not tuned in? Y'all not listening? Y'all not listening to me. This is crazy. I haven't said it a million times. It's on my Twitter. It's on everywhere. It's in my bio. The track list. Again, church. Only human. Spread thin. Boys don't cry. I'm getting an album later, later in the year. I have performed Disclosure Live one time. At my Los Angeles concert that was sold out. <laughs> I'm going straight sold out dates all year, so just know that. It's one thing you need to know is that. How do you get your pictures from the concert? I'm pretty sure that those pictures from those meet and greets are on my website somewhere on there. I could have sworn I seen them. And the only reason why I know that is because when I saw them, I was like cringing, like, damn, like this is what we was looking like. Fuck. I did not know that I was looking like that. But it's like, I'm not going to deprive y'all of those pictures just because I was looking crazy. Like, it's all good. Just just keep them for memories. Don't, like, post them and embarrass me. Yes, Church is on the EP. <clears throat> Do a song with Nicki. Y'all say that like that so easy. Do y'all think I have Nicki Minaj's phone number? Maybe if one of y'all have Nicki Minaj's phone number, please call her on my behalf and you let her know I would love to do a song. <laughs> It's a lot, a lot of people like that that I would like to do music with. I just haven't, like, run into them yet. You know, it should happen, though, at some point. I'll make sure that when I do get there, I'll be sure to say, you know, my fans and friends and everybody have always told me we need to make a song. That's how I'm going to throw it in. I ain't going to be like, hey, you know, like, let's, you know, everybody want us to work. I'm going to say it like that. Um... <laughs> uh, <clears throat> What else here? Happy birthday, Latifah. Is that how you say your name? Or is it Latifah? 
Latifa or Latifa? Is that, does that make you happy? I'm 5'3". <clears throat> Hollywood Dreams is called Spread Thin. Yes, it's on EP. <laughs> Okay, see, this is why I realize now the questions list is um, not the best idea because you can repeat a question. And so it's, you're just scrolling past the same question repeatedly. <clears throat> um, my favorite song ever. I have two favorite songs ever that are neck and neck. And if somebody ever tried to make me choose, I would, my heart would break. One of them is International Players Anthem by UGK. <clears throat> and the other is Pyramids by Frank Ocean. Those are my two favorite songs ever in the world. I know all the words. When I get married, I want them both to play. Um, those are my favorite songs. Um. I'm about to get off this little thing right here because it's all the same questions over here. Have I watched Euphoria? Of course I've watched Euphoria. Have you? If you haven't watched Euphoria, you should watch it. Oh my gosh. Yesterday, Gia from Euphoria, I came across her Instagram, which I have seen before, obviously. And I saw, um, um, she posted a video on her, on her Instagram playing to you in the background. Why didn't anybody ever send me that? That was amazing. That made my day to know that. <clears throat> to know that she listened to my music. That was crazy. What are my regular days like? My regular days are like, I wake up sometime in between 11 a.m. and 1 p.m. <laughs> um, depending on how late I go to sleep. Sometimes I wake up earlier than that. <clears throat> Usually I like wake up really early and then go back to sleep. And then I like actually getting up out of bed is like 11 o'clock. Um, and then like depending on whatever we got to do today, just shit like that. Really like a lot of correspondence over the phone, email, text message, 60 group messages. Um, running errands, kicking shit with Diamond, <clears throat> making money with Diamond, um, eating food at some point. We don't really cook as much anymore. We, I think we'd be like a little too busy for that. And then um, later in the evening, we might go to the studio, depending on like my vibe. If I feel like doing like recording or like trying to catch a vibe, I might do something like that. Or um, shit like that. I might kick it with the girls, go out. That's usually what a regular day is like. You know, then you realize, like, going out becomes, like, almost like a regular thing. And then it's like, you don't really want that to be a regular thing. Like, because it just gets burnt out. It's not so fun when you do it all the time. Uh, I am not cooking for dinner tonight. Um... Was I trapping before I started singing? Um, no, I wasn't. Before I started singing, I was in college. Um, with a job or two. I had two jobs in college. Um, the first was Hooters. <laughs> first was Hooters, and um, the second was for this counseling company that's based in Atlanta. Um, but I was like doing it remotely from New York. It was like an online, uh, like work from home job, but it was a great job though. Um, let's see what else. Oh fuck, I fucked up the, the uh, order of the questions. I told y'all what my skincare routine is already. Just some Cetaphil, get some Cetaphil. I took the EP intro off because <clears throat> I took the EP intro off because we couldn't clear it in time. Another one of my pet peeves is when you are at a light and there's multiple lanes and it's like the light just turned green and they blow at you. 
and it's like other lanes that you could politely just get over and go get in those lanes and proceed. Like, you ain't got to do all that. This shit just turned green. You know what I mean? My favorite perfume, I don't want to give that away. Like, you you just, like, if you see me in person and ask me what I'm wearing that day, I'll tell you. But, like, I don't want to tell y'all because it's like, like, you remember when um, Baccarat first was, like, a thing and then everybody in Atlanta went and got Baccarat. And it's like, you can't go anywhere without the room smelling like Baccarat. Burnt out. I don't want everybody in a room smelling like me. Because then it's like, I don't smell special anymore. Everybody smells the same way. You know. <clears throat> My favorite city I performed in. I think, well, I haven't like been everywhere yet. <clears throat> I have only performed in a few cities, but like New York was really turned up. I did a show at a uh, UPenn that was turned up too. Like that little like Pennsylvania, DC, DMV area and shit, they be turned up out there. <clears throat> Super turned. Maybe I should pull, come out of the question thing and then see what y'all asking in real time. Because I feel like some of these might be old. 